All right, for more on this, let's bring in Heritage Foundation Tech Policy Center Director and former Facebook employee, Kara Frederick. Kara, good to see you. So just, I mean, you're, 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 you come from tech world. What's your read on this case? Oh, I think the employees, uh, comments is all you need to know. This is the problem when it comes to Google's ad tech practices. They are fundamentally anti-competitive. And I'll tell your viewers what Americans need to know is they control Google, the, um, uh, the buy side, the sell side and the ad exchange. That would be, as this phrase has been bandied about, I think it's a good one, that would be as if Goldman or Citibank controlled the New York Stock Exchange. Fundamentally anti-competitive, all you need to know, it's about competition and innovation. Come on, Google. I just worry if, if this area of the business, it's really the only area that Google has ever made any money, and it seems like they're so desperate. They're trying to get into every, even more every part of your experience on the internet in any which way that they can. And so it's going to get worse and worse in terms of them trying to silo you off from any kind of competitor or any kind of way of act a different way of accessing information so to speak and i only say that i'm rambling but because i want to bring in this psychologist and google critic who issued this dire warning ahead of november's election going forward from roughly 2012 i think the the free and fair election has been an illusion an illusion the technological elite are now in control. That's what we have. That's where I get back to my, my ranting and my, my pain because I realize no one is paying attention. Well, the people in power know they are paying attention, they're just not doing anything about it. Oh yeah, and I love that professor. I think he is a canary in a coal mine because you look at AI and what happened with Google's rollout of their AI model, Gemini? It was ahistorical, it was inaccurate. You look at Google, what do you need for good artificial intelligence? You need high levels of com compute, Google has it. You need a high volume and variety of data, Google has it because of their commercial surveillance apparatus. They've been building on us those digital profiles, they've been building on us for decades and decades. Now AI, they have the ability to parse through all of that information, micro-target you, nudge you, according to what Professor Epstein was saying, in a political direction, the game's over. If they, as a big tech corporation, can't control AI going forward and those models, it's over for but they're, us. They're curating left-wing content in the nudge to push you in a certain direction, not giving you the best content per your, uh, per, per your search. And it goes even to the Donald Trump assassination photo, right? Um, it was challenging to find, and they would curate different results, not the Trump assassination photos themselves. And again, they have a political agenda. Right, they're trying to move their people uh, in a certain direction, which is left wing, as opposed to trying to get good information so people can make de decisions for themselves, Kira. Exactly, that's why their motto is no longer don't be evil, because I think they know down deep in their bones that they're being evil for the left, in, in support of the left, as per usual. You uh, try to find any information about Kamala Harris going back beyond when she was named the nominee, you can't find okay. it. It is almost impossible to find if you're using the Google search engine. And that Google image search, that AI image search, mm -hmm. that was actually designed in the most simplistic way to insert if you said, I wanna see uh, a photo of Thanksgiving. It, would, it, it was designed to just insert diversity. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you were getting like, um, Asian women at Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean the original Thanksgiving, right. not recent Thanksgiving. So that's how insidious that was. Oh, and it's worth noting when there's no competition, you, because Google last month was ruled an illegal monopoly in violation of Section 2 of the Sherman Act. So you're going to get more of the same if you have a monopoly and no choices and no options. It's a problem. Well, I just say competition usually works. In the end, if you don't, if you don't cater to the people in which you claim to serve, Someone else will, mm -hmm. and we'll see how this all develops. Kara Frederick, thanks for being with us. We Thank appreciate you. it. Good to see you. Good. Coming up, Kamala Harris.